got a lot of fellow progressives and lefties, people who normally are 100% on team TYT, really coming out and calling out Anna Kasparian over not just her original tweet, the birthing person tweet that, of course, started this entire debacle, but really more so, I think, the way she's handled some of the criticism she received and the way she reacted to the pushback, right? Like it's okay to have an unpopular opinion. I think that a lot of Anna's friends and allies in this media space feel the same way. You know, they have a tolerance for disagreement like most mature people do. Um, Obviously everyone knows that you're not going to ever meet someone who you agree with on everything um, e- even my closest friends and, you know, even Zach, someone who I feel really, really aligned with politically, you know, obviously we don't agree on everything. There's probably five to 10% of stuff that we have disagreements on. Right. I don't think most people were really, really terribly upset by the fact that Anna Kasparian had a difference of opinion than them, or maybe saw something differently or from a slightly different perspective. To me, the really embarrassing thing was, was how she and Jank responded to the backlash and responded to the pushback they received, taking it so personally and just really letting their narcissistic uh, true colors show in the process. Um, Really was not expecting them to just, you know, attack their friends of the show, people they platform like Lance from the serves Anna declaring that she'll never work with or collaborate with another leftist again, all this crazy stuff just from a little bit of mild pushback. So I think the big theme of the videos we're going to be reacting to today and some of these takes from folks like Vosh, folks like, um, you know, Mike Figueredo and David Dole, people that are normally, as I said, 100% um, pro TYT, they defend TYT, they defend Anna Kasparian. Um, But I think the one thing you'll see today in some of these reactions that we're going to be taking a look at is that people are really shocked by how she's handled herself after the pushback, um, how she's handled herself when confronted with just a little bit of friendly criticism. Um, so that's what I'm really excited to take a look at. Yeah, absolutely. And all I would like to say is that we knew that this was coming from a mile away, right over here at the Vanguard. I'm not patting ourselves on the back, not breaking our spine or anything, but boy, we have been on this case for a while being like, Hey guys, what the fuck is happening over on TYT? Well, no, no, guys, you're just janking in a you know, different time. They're from, they're from a different time. It's like talking about your racist grandparents. It's like, oh, you know, these guys, they're just from a different generation on YouTube. These old timers, like they don't really mean anything by it, right? It's like, you know, everybody else is held responsible for the things they do. Dude, I swear you cannot find, like, you, you just can't find a video compilation of me saying the N word over and over and over and over and over and over. It doesn't exist. Go for like, you know, search your whole life. You're never going to find it. Um, that's, you know, uh, what, uh, you I'll know, to, to you if you really want it, guys. No, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, so the, that's how Gavin's keeping me blackmailed. He's, he's like, I'll release the footage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't make Jank at the airport look like a fucking walk in the park. No. Um, but yeah, you know, and then of course their crime rhetoric and their fucking anti homeless rhetoric and their fucking simping for guys like Rick Caruso. It's just where was the line going to be drawn? And then finally, finally, after she just comes out and just runs fucking headfirst into the right wing culture war talking points as they are effectively and mobilizing, uh, quickly uh, in an anti-trans legislation and this we we always talked about it on the vanguard as it did a number of other commentators oh shout out to oliami whoa that's tight um but yeah as did a bunch of other commentators right uh that it was never about children like do you remember guys when the entire conversation was about oh this is about protecting children right this is oh they're trying to groom our children right like oh drag queen story hour whatever the fuck right uh that was never what it was about we consistently came up here and we said this is not what it's about it's always going to be about controlling all people it's going be about mo- further marginalizing and then eventually trying to er- like basically just like eradicate trans folks right like i mean they even use that fucking language on the daily wire so anyway let's check out the leftist mafia segment on anna kasparian because i thought this was really good um and really funny too so let's check it out leftist mafia address addressing the tyt twitter drama let's go <laughs> I'm just going to say before anyone that lit, launched into anything, I have a video up. I did it. Watch it. You can watch it later or tomorrow, whatever. But Ditto. my opinions are in there. If this chat gets out of hand, 
that's not on me. So <laughs> anybody that may be offended, it's not on me. This is a democratized podcast. I, uh, smart of david to do that as we all know he has the problematic fan base he usually causes problems <laughs> he's coming out ahead he's coming out ahead <laughs> i also want to say i posted the video are all very positive i gotta say all the comments on my video are very positive mm -hmm. people that, yeah, that i looked at them too it was nice come it was from my wholesome. perspective and the point of love has been most wholesome i hope everyone knows that by the way i've, I've been yeah. i've been mm -hmm. I, 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 entirely and completely touched by every single person who's been like what, what has happened it is true that david dole by the way has like the lead he's like so averse to controversy you know like i've almost never seen david dole beefing with someone talking shit uh, in all of our years of doing this, which is like three years, uh, I, I don't think we've ever, maybe a couple times, did a video where it was like David Dole versus somebody else. But usually it's kind of like reaching, like, oh, find some comment he made off cuff. Like, you know, it's it's never intentional. Uh, so I imagine he might be a little bit uncomfortable now that he's being forced to criticize a fellow progressive. Or not forced to, but, you know, uh, he's in a group of people that are like uh, all ruthlessly criticizing so that's nice. It's nice. I want to let the record reflect. I don't think it's us who's going to get out of hand because we, I want to say from the beginning of time, we spent an hour waterboarding each other and the fans with a whole session of la, 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 we like her. We swear this isn't a deep critique. Da, 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 da. We did all that shit. Right, okay? right. And, and as, as a lot of people, right. As a lot of people on Twitter pointed out when, uh, Ole was getting all the shit. It was actually I who started. <laughs> yeah, you did not get called at all. Not by name. But you know what I think is important? You know what I think is an important note in that just to speak to the level of engineered foolishness and theatrics this is and the choice. And I believe it, I believe it is a deliberate tactic and who she chose to go after. And why? Because it's not lost upon me that after this happens, you unfollow Binder. Even though you didn't call out Bender, you didn't say shit about Bender. You unfollow Bender. Both of them still follow me. They know it wasn't. Oh, 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 you know, I'm also, I'm also, I think the only person on this show, maybe Illuminati hasn't been, but the only person on the show who's never been invited on their program. Yep. Yeah. So I think this is a concerted effort to take me down a notch. <laughs> they're being, uh, they're obviously threatened by my growing presence online. Um, you were but let me like, tell you, people who are banned on Twitter. So you, right, you let me tell you, if stars, Elon right Musk couldn't stop me, then <laughs> these two certainly couldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also jump in really quick just to echo what David said? So David put out a video, I put out a video, and I basically said my piece there. Um, and so I, I wasn't planning to make a video, but since my big brother did it, I'm like, okay. I should probably do it too. And, uh, and cause I, like, I did want to talk about this, but at the same time, there's always like this, this tearing at me when it comes to these events where it's like, I don't want to be accused of fueling leftist infighting for clicks and views. But at the same time, if I self censor then I'm kind of being like a little bit of a cuck and I'm, uh, I'm trying to not call out friends for purposes of access. So it's like, it's conflicted. You're kind of damned if you do damned if you don't. But I said everything that I wanted to say in that video, I was as honest uh as i can possibly be so okay oh sorry i'm loud i will no 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 Let the I, 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 well. I guess sorry, maybe that, i, I that, guess uh, maybe we should our, our guest is here uh should i oh well, yeah, yeah. i mean the, yeah bring, sorry, bring uh, her guest, icons yeah. here she's not, i'm not sure if she's on before we get into this into this happens. let's go ahead and transparently make something really clear here because i know we're going to talk about a lot of topics we love tangents it's kind of our thing um let's just make it clear what this is really about right there was a bad tweet that was said and someone who refused to take accountability for it. And like I said in our little kind of group chat earlier, I think what's happening now is all a gigantic deflection to take away and take the heat off of Anna because no. she can't fucking yeah. take it. Yeah, it's more than, it's, it's more than that. It's, more, it's honestly more than that. It's more than a bad tweet. And you know, it's funny. I have no interest. There are lots of people. I have observed things. I see people in the space that I don't think are particularly this. They don't do it for me. I don't think they're blah, blah, blah. But I mind my business because I've said, as I've said, if you've been watching the show from the beginning, I have made an appointment to let y'all know I don't give a fuck. I do not want to be 
in anybody's drama and anybody's to do that is not important to me i think it is a waste of energy um talking about what the next one is talking about blah 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 i don't like i try to extend let me tell you something if i have done a show with you i've been on whatever it is i've done it with you i extend you the courtesy of not giving you no smoke i have ne listen because for me my position is this I did not know TYT until last summer when they covered me, my appearance on Rising when I went viral, ironically, for defending the trans community against violent transphobia then, you know, and in this, ironically, you know, Anna was giving me my praises saying that, you know, this is what the left needs, an aggressive act, someone who will aggressively go after transphobia. I say that to say she knew who the fuck she was dealing with then. You know, that's one. But two, that's such a good point, too, from Olay. Um, if you guys remember the first time that TYT covered Olay was because of her infamous rising appearance where she totally shut down Robbie Suave and Kim Iverson for their super, super transphobic apologetics and defense of Jordan Peterson, who got banned from Twitter or suspended from Twitter for dead naming and basically just being a terrible human being. Um, and they had they uh, covered that segment like, you know, pretty much everyone else did at the time. They covered that segment and we're like, yes, this is what we've been waiting for. Like, thank God someone on a mainstream media platform like the Hills Rising that just isn't afraid to, you know, shove it in these fucking transphobes face and tell them that they're wrong and, you know, explain to them why what they're doing is problematic, et cetera. Et cetera. Like, this is the energy we need on the left. Um, but then as soon as you get called out, as soon as you get called out you turn into this pearl clutching civility police fucking how dare you be so rude in the discourse like how dare you disagree with me in an aggressive and harsh way um so so ironic i mean that's the formula right that's the formula right uh you know and honestly they, they kind of have like i don't want to call it like a good cop bad cop it's just like bad cop like, I, okay, I almost made a, a different joke. I, anyway, I, I was going to say a bad cop, bitchy cop, but that sounded misogynistic, so I didn't want to say that. But essentially what happens is uh, that Anna will go out and she'll be all, like, she, she kind of courted Oliami, right, uh, to bring Oliami onto uh, TYT when she made the appearance where they were debating, um, they were debating, like, ab abolishing the police and defunding the police and also, uh, you know, uh, bail reform, right? Because Jenk had been doing a lot of uh, fear-mongering and so had Anna about bail reform. They, You know, a Anna reaches out and she's like, oh, I'm so excited to just have, like, a really thoughtful, like, warm, ex uh, you know, exchange of ideas, blah, blah, blah. Was that what happened once Olaimi got on the... No. Jenk comes in here, he's hollering, he's getting all worked up, he's, like, all red in the face and shit, right? Um you know, and and that's the that's the formula, and now it's the same deal, right? Like, oh, now that uh, Anna's been called out for basically being a turf, right? Uh, let's call a spade a spade. Uh, it's you know, you have Anna's now like, oh, I can't believe anybody ever said anything bad about me, and you have Jank, you know, attack dogging, like trying to fucking just sh shred anybody apart, like going after Lance of all people, right? You know, uh, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's just that's what that's what it is it's it, it's like throw a punch and then act appalled right i mean that's what the democratic party does all the time because that was my first introduction to them i was i was nice like i was you know okay like all i know from them is that they positively said something about me and we follow each other and so cool once someone is my mutual i try to like walk with a certain kind of energy because I am a person, I'm a sensitive gangster. I don't want you talking about me and blah, blah, blah either and fucking with me in a certain way. I don't like that kind of drama. Um, so, you know, when they when they've gone on different tangents on, on propaganda and saying saying things like that, I've handled them so nicely, which is a thing they have recognized. And they've said, if you've seen my interview with them um, on abolition of TYT, they said as much. Anna literally explicitly said I was the only person that was nice to them, that handled them in a productive way. Um, so that was why. And their audience had been requesting that they have somebody, uh, uh, somebody who was an abolitionist come on. And I was I was requested by popular demand. So they asked me on there based on how nice, how I've extended myself before. And everybody knows, and it was well known, that I was disrespected on that interview by Chang. Everybody saw it. Every comedy commented on it. I know what I felt it. I kept it cute. You know what I mean? I took his little, you know, what our private conversation. I don't say anything. I blah, 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 blah. And I've continued like that. And again, even when she made those comments, she made with the comments she made about, about, um, when she, when she came out saying, oh, um, don't call me a birthing person and all those things. What I did was, and everybody and their mama was dragging her, but I have no interest in dragging Anna as a person. I have no investment in, in, in making Anna feel bad or anything like that. If I address something, it's only going to be because of, I think the comments are harmful. And so remember, I made a video that did well. 
that I didn't say, I didn't say anything about Anna Kasparian. I never even acknowledged a tweet. I complete only talked about the substance of those arguments about about um, um, why that's steeped in transphobia because it is a made up argument meant to deflect and meant to to vilify a community, and that is why it is harmful. And the reason why I say that is because it is. Period. Point blank. That's the only reason. That's the only reason why it's worthwhile addressing to me. I would never go and go. I didn't quote tweet. I didn't say nothing about. It. I was on and didn't. No one that follows me would know. There's an Anna thing going on. I didn't acknowledge it. But I am on a show with other people. We talk about things. Whatever the comments come up because. Again, we're all in the same kind of internet space. Your comments are, vi uh, are, are viral and they are harmful. And so we address it. And again, I still kept it cute because in my, in my opinion, and I think it's been demonstrated to us through all of this, is that they know, they know. It's not just that people keep saying, oh, she, you know, that video that I posted when I disused her shows how she contradicts her earlier opinion. But it's more than that. It shows a previous recognition of exactly what she's doing. It's a tactic. It's not an opinion. She knows exactly. She knows know. what the language is. She knows what the argument is. She knows that this is a tactic used by the right in order to, 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 to vilify already marginalized communities. And that is very harmful. And she is doing it intentionally they aren't doing it this is the most transparent display of 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 trying to grift and ingratiate oneself to the right i've ever seen and i knew that then let me be clear i am a person i'm not and i don't go i go out of my way go out of my way and by the way in case anyone's like oh you know she just had an unpopular opinion she's not trying to ingratiate herself with the right what are you that's taking it too far come on Olay. um let's take a look at some of the tweets that anna recently liked on twitter after all of this meltdown took place and after she started being criticized um if you go down here uh here's one this guy's like a huge jimmy door fan you know if the jimmy door crowd is agreeing with anna kasperi and they're like number one enemy you know she said something stupid <laughs> you know she said something stupid if she's getting signal boosted by the fucking jimmy door but anyway let's go down here um where where to go yeah, check out this tweet that she liked. She said, this tweet says, Anna Kasparian, on behalf of my daughter I raised and the billions of women on this planet, stay on your soapbox. So nice to see a progressive here. The revolt against trans stank is growing. Uh, <laughs> and that's a tweet that Anna was like, hell yeah, I'm going to give that a favorite. Um, and apparently this guy who posted it is like a huge right winger. So that's not surprising. But yeah, this is the people that she's signaling to. Um, and it's not just like, oops, I, I didn't mean to. We had broken clock or whatever. Uh, like, no, she's actually going out of her way to like their tweets and signal boost them further to to not mince words generally but i did i minced i don't because i don't feel like it's worthwhile for me to address the anna thing the argument <laughs> whatever <laughs> yeah so i was very nice about it if y'all watched that last episode i was like she's beautiful i like anna she was nice to me i went away i did you know i gave her the little nimble gymnastics anybody who follows me knows when i have a problem with somebody you'll know eric adams is nowhere confused about what my position is on him you see what i'm saying but so for me let me let me say this it's absurd to me when picture it Picture it, it's Easter Sunday, 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I, I am in my, I swear to y'all, I am sitting here, I literally sat down, had just lit a blunt, I was about to eat the dig into my sandwich, saw the little Angel Reese thing, so I made a little video cracking my little joke about the haters, and then here comes Anna Kasparian, and I said, so she says to me, Oh, Ole, and it's already not the right tone. You know what I mean? Someone's I'm like, oh, Ole, this feels like we going off, we going off somewhere, we bearing off somewhere. So she says, oh, Ole, you mean like the kind of haters who demand that people cook their friends? I swear to y'all, I honest to God, I had no idea what the fuck this woman was talking about. I was flabbergasted. I was like, what is? <laughs> I swear to God, I tell. I wish we could do like a poll in the chat. I sometimes I see people on YouTube do like a live poll in their chat. I really want to know what you guys think and whether or not you agree with me that Anna was like definitely drunk when this happened, like at least several glasses of wine deep by the time she fired off this tweet at Olay because it just makes no sense. It's so random. It's so out of nowhere. It's so petty. I can't imagine myself doing something like that unless maybe I was really drunk and mad for some reason. Um, but it's just it's just crazy. She did that. <laughs> last like is this an inside joke i thought there was a leftist inside i was like cook quotation I, I can 100 for that 
Yeah. Yes. I was I was like, oh no, what's about to happen? Oh no. I said yeah. violence. Hey, violence. She's using violence. People oh, have no. to understand. People no. have to understand that this the episode of Leftist Mafia where we discussed her tweet was weeks ago. <laughs> weeks ago. And all of a sudden, this past Sunday night, Monday morning, she's uh, Anna is going after Ole. Yeah. And so I see this. I sent it. I literally sent it to Lance, who's out like walking Chico, like so it can't even answer me in time. I'm like, Lance, is this like an inside joke, or is she coming for me about something? What's going on? So I post a single y'all. I post a single question mark, and there's a reason for that because I have made it very clear. Anybody who's following me, y'all notice. I, you know, you don't gotta like me, but I'm transparent. I made it clear. If you fuck with me. I'm going to give it back to you tenfold. That's the only way I know how to move. I like to leave people alone. I tell people, leave me alone. Don't start me. If you're nice to me, I'm the nicest bear you could ever have. I'm on your team. I will leave you alone. But don't fuck with me. And I don't want to give you that kind of energy. I respect mental health, right? Because for me, there's a line. And once you cross over it, it's just a pit of fire. There's no degree of harm. Once you cross <laughs> the line, I consider that consent. Consent for me to act a fool, right? Like, let's see what's, let's see, let's see what's up. So I said it, that question mark. That question mark was the opportunity for me to clarify what's going on here. <laughs> so then she posted this clip. And I watch it and I'm like, wow, this is really transparent. Like I like normally things like you would think something like that would upset you, but how I felt I like something has never been clearer to me that this woman wanted to try and at the top of the week so that people could tune into TYT. Because the only time I ever see come up TYT is when they, they start and engineer some bullshit on a timeline. And then someone posts a clip later of them pretending to casually address it in the show. Like they like by happenstance for attention. And I'm like, oh, this woman really is looking to like start some shit with me on Easter Sunday, on a one, I'm right. That's one. Let me start there. I'm, I'm correct, ma'am. Like, I'm like, two. Um, I didn't ask your friends to cook you. all know that because again, I don't think this is about her ever truly having been being been offended by me because she was clearly offended by Bender's ass. His ass got blocked immediately. <laughs> I think this is a deliberate. I, I think this is a strategic choice, and I don't even think it's about Anna as, well, as an individual being racist. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait let's really quick. Let's wait, really quick wait, introduce. Wait, 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 Yes, oh, Jennifer. Jennifer. Everyone's favorite Jennifer. New York Times reporter. Uh, Jennifer. Yeah, we, have, we have an actual reporter from the New York Times. Real. Here, an absolute and utter legend. I, 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 Jennifer. I, Thank you. I, Hi. I, Jennifer is a legend. Great Twitter follow. I'm going to fast seen her and it's not really relevant to the conversation we're reacting to. But yeah, shout out to Juniper. Great follow on Twitter. Master, master troll um, of the right wing. But yeah, I'm going to fast forward. The one uh, of that broke the big, big story about yeah about uh, that was that was important work that was important. Well, this whole birthing person thing going back to how Anna Anna was waiting to use that clip um, about Ole like she was she had that clip for like it's weeks not a good I was clip. stunned it's not a good clip for <laughs> she her was point. so excited yeah. it's not a good clip for her point I really I, I was like <laughs> ma'am what this is not a good clip I I it's not at all um one and also it's ridiculous I. She would have been better off just, just from a perspective of strategy, like from the Game of Thrones, like if I'm counseling you, I don't know how to do this next time. She would have been better off posting it as its own thing by itself, like in a reasonable amount of time from when it happened. But come in on a tweet where I'm I'm not talking <laughs> about not like I'm talking about something totally <laughs> fucking unrelated. Like, you know? In the middle of the night, I was like, yeah. man. <laughs> that's a man. Elon Musk energy. Like, that's that's Elon Musk <laughs> tweeting at 4 a.m. <laughs> And, and, the haters no, energy. on God, no, <laughs> on, on God, and I truly think like, and I don't even think it's about Anna herself being racist or anything like that in the decision of who she goes after. I think it's about who they are deliberately trying to ingratiate with themselves, the right, and who they are trying to to um um speak to and pander to and hope to get to like and clearly in the pivot that they're obviously trying to make. I think those people want a black woman fed to them, right? And that's the, that's a handbook we see it all the time, right? People love to go after black women online, unfortunately. You picked the wrong black woman. I'm, I'm particularly. I don't give a fuck. Um, and I, I mean, in my like, opinion, she picked the right black woman because it didn't yeah. help us all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, honestly, I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm like, no, truly. So, you know, I respond. I respond. And so I reply to her. I reply to her um, reasonably. And when she, and it, again, it became incredibly clear to me that this is not about us. We are being used as pawns, you know, for engagement. And also she's speaking past us because I, she she quote tweets me with some totally unrelated fucking shit back to trying to argue her stupid ass fucking point. Talking about, LOL, I'm a woman. I want to apologize. Who asked you to apologize? I don't give a fuck about what you think. Like at all. I didn't choose these topics. If this was my show, we didn't talk about this. Notice, even though she came after me, every single leftist commentator has made a video on this. Align me, ain't made none. 
I ain't made none because I don't even want to give you the impression. I think this bullshit is what I be talking. I don't give a fuck what Anna thinks. What I do, if I want to do an episode, it'll be about the substance of using the trans community as political pawns with these bullshit straw man arguments that you know is nonsense. And she fucking knows that. And I think that's what's so destructive and harmful. And for you to be like, oh, Ella, I'm a woman, blah, 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 blah. And on the soapbox about how you had it harder. Right. Yeah. I mean, I am I, I'm a woman. What are you talking about? I'm a cis woman too. I'm a, I'm a black. What are you talking about? Anybody talking to you about that? <laughs> like, but I was like, she's clearly trying to start this shit up back with them. And I'm like, um, here's the thing. And it's so crazy. When she did that, I was like, I truly, on, on honest to God, my mind was like, this is such a bad choice of strategy. Like if I would like, if I'm just thinking on who to fuck with, you know, like certain people like logically like them, don't like them. Just mind your business. I was like, ma'am, I'm going to shoot you on this timeline right now. Like I'm going, I'm going to like you. I feel like, uh, you know what, this is something that I just think it has to be said, right? Because like, obviously the, the race politics, uh, uh, of the situation right like you know Olay was talking about like they wanted the archetype of like a black woman because their audience would be like more eager to like you know take her down or you know like vilify her or whatever honestly i the more i really marinate on, on thinking about how the young turks network interacts with you know guests of color not not a great look really not a great look i mean just for a second compare the behavior that anna has you know demonstrated towards olayami Somebody who ostensibly she agrees with way more than Ben Shapiro, right? How did she handle those disagreements with Ben Shapiro, right? One, she just kind of didn't – like they kind of tiptoed around them. She diluted them. She did everything to make him feel at ease with her answers, right? Basically – I, I said earlier, eating out of the palm of his hand, that's essentially what happened, right? Uh, with the vile, conservative right-winger, right? But now, you know, it's like, like what, you don't like the optics of being, like, challenged by a woman of color? Like, I don't know. I just think it gives an all-around bad look. Uh, at the same time, I, I don't know. All of these things, I'm starting to think about it. The more I think about it, the less I like it. I get that weird, like, stomach feeling where you're like, oh, I, oh, uh, I... I think that there's something else going on here. And even if they are just pivoting because that's what their audience wants to see, I mean, that's a self-reflection in, 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 in and of itself, right? Like the fact that you would be even willing to do that for fucking money or cloud or clicks or anything. I don't know. Bad looks all around for the Young Turks Network. There's really no, uh, no coming out on top uh, from this guy. Yeah, I, I totally agree. If you contrast the way she handled her disagreement with Olayami or... Brianna Joy Gray, for that matter, another commentator of color. Um, if you contrast that with the way she handled Ben Shapiro in their last debate, uh, it, it was in, it was uh, in, insane because she spent the first like twenty minutes of that debate blowing smoke up Ben Shapiro's ass and acting like reasonable people on the right, and I'm one of the reasonable people on the left. And you know, there's all these crazy progressives that I, I, you know, I don't speak for them. They they don't speak for me, right? I'm a I'm a sane person. Uh, radical extremists over here uh trust me bro you know they drive me crazy too <laughs> uh and i guess those radical extremists she was talking about are people like olayami who again ostensibly she actually agrees with way more than someone like ben shapiro who actually espouses disgustingly and violently transphobic opinions on a pretty much daily basis for a shit ton of money um so i think yeah if you compare and contrast the way that she handled herself in those two instances it does begin to paint a pretty problematic picture for sure you you, you guys I, like I'm, I'm going to i'm going to i'm i'm going to and it didn't even have to be like this i have i didn't even have to be like this miss mamas it did not have to no be that's like that's it. that's the thing like they took it as if it was a personal attack and like it's sort of really selfish well, to look at it that so. way it, it, but not even no. no like i don't i don't care like listen i know you guys are friends with them i don't have a problem with them i've never had any shit with them, but i don't have a relationship with them um so you know i don't really you know i've never felt i need to like pull back or anything but like it wasn't even about that it wasn't about tyt it wasn't about anna or jenk the, the if if anyone had said this it would have been the same reaction from me and i hope i i do think you guys too where it wasn't oh, about the individual. It's about what yeah. she said, and we have an audience. I don't. You know, I, I don't know about. No, right? What? It depends. It, no, I think it does matter who says it. I think it's be, because it's someone from a prominent platform that is a pro progressive platform. Mm -hmm. The fact yeah. that that she is the one saying it, I think. Like, if okay, David, let, let's David, say, let's if say, you, say if you have that tweet. Let's I, say Stephen Crowder said it. I, I would say I would be like Tuesday. 
I, I would DM you right away. I would say like David Dole, uh, just by the way, hey, by the way, uh, just so you know, like this is not it. You know, but I, I would DM you right away. If it went Man. on for a while and until it became a culture war thing, at that point, I would be like the same thing I did here. Uh, I would be respectfully. It, yeah. I love Which you, is, David. I love I all think, the shit. Think, but this one is, is the wrong. Why my video on this is is showing more disappointment than anything else because I I know Anna's oh, better yes, than yes. this. There's a video of but, her explaining not, this a year ago. So, I, but it's not about. It's it's really. I I really don't think it is about who they are though i know that's people feel that way but it's not because at the end of the day we weren't asked to 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 you know it came up on this show weeks ago because someone asked us about it in fact i think quite a few people asked us about it mm -hmm. and they weren't necessarily asking yeah it mattered who it was i guess because if it was from a right winger i guess they would have expected it but the point of the matter was her word specifically attacked a group of people who i don't know about you guys i i would assume so based on us being on this show together i know my personal live stream i have a large audience of trans people and mm -hmm. they felt hurt and attacked by someone who they perceived to be uh, you know Somewhere in the realm of their politics, going after them so hard out of the blue like that. Yeah, and I think, I think the onus was on me. I felt not to say, "Oh, I know Anna is. She's got this long history." At that point, to me, it did not fucking matter. At this point, to me, once people are saying that, like, this is ridiculous. We're really hurt. like, this is like, we didn't just like have to say, "Hey, this is not cool," and she apologized. She's like doubling down. The whole show is doubling down. That was the real Jenk issue. is it's doubling down. Quad, so like, down. Like, that's Jesus. when I said. We don't need to do this. We don't we don't need to do the whole oh Anna's got this history because it didn't matter at that point. Because the people being attacked, trans people, uh wanted to hear what we felt about it. Yeah. Without the the stuff about Anna's good, Anna's great. It didn't matter yeah. at that point to me. Yeah, I mean, and that's why I said what I said that day when I said, Hey, everyone's gotta calm down about the whole uh, you know, uh everything. Yeah, so that was mostly what I wanted to react to. If we had a little bit more time, we could keep watching this one. Um, but really great breakdown from everyone at the Leftist Mafia. I really appreciate the honesty. Obviously, it can be tough to criticize someone who you're friends with or have a professional relationship with. But I think it actually displayed a pretty impressive amount of integrity from um, everyone involved in leftist mafia, at least those who have a relationship with Jenkins and Anna, to you know put that aside and say, hey, my job is to be a commentator. My job is to be honest. Um, this is a friend of the show, yes. This is someone I respect, yes. But also, they're full of shit, and it's my job to call that out.